Ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome co-founder of AWE, Ori Inbar. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the seventh Augmented World Expo 2016. It's awesome to have you all here with us. How's my Vegalume jacket by my end? You like it? And the matching shoes. So we've all gathered here for one reason. We believe in a new wave of computing is coming. And for the first time, it's completely natural. And it's going to make us better at anything we do in work and life. AR, VR, and wearables are giving superpowers to the people and they will swallow all personal computing. When we started AWE seven years ago, these technologies were the future. Well, they are here now, and they're real. But we have a lot of work to do, and that's why our mission right here is to engage every startup, investor, and corporation, and make this industry thrive. When we founded augmentedreality.org as a nonprofit to bring you this event, our goal was to inspire 1 billion AR users by the end of the decade. Well, I'm happy to report that we're on track to achieving it. Hundreds of millions of millennials are already using augmented reality on a daily basis. Just check Snapchat, right? Face swap, filters. Good sound. Obamacare is great, and it's really working. Sign up now. Breaking news. Michelle Obama in hot water after posting this video earlier today. Obamacare is great, and it's really working. <laughs> I guess the first lady doesn't like it so much, but yeah, everyone is using it, even the president. Are you guys users? Any Snapchat users in the audience? Awesome, so I wanted to prove it by creating some stories right here with our own AWE filter. And how about VR? Oh boy, it's already huge in pop culture. Did you guys check out this uh, SNL sketch from last week? Anyone? Look it up, it's pretty cool. Seriously, picture this. At some point in the future, there will be an inflection point where more smart glasses will be sold than smartphones. It took smartphones 10 years to get from zero to one billion shipments. And if history teaches us anything, is that these cycles only accelerate over time. It will be faster for this wave. Where do I get that conviction? It's because it's in our bones, the need to interact with the real world. Hunching over a device, and bumping over things when you walk on the street is not natural. Mike my words, in a few years, we'll look back at this, at smartphones, and it will seem so weird. But above all, this change will happen because when you're glass-wearing workmates, playmates, or classmates perform better than you, can you afford not to wear? Smart glasses make people better at anything they do, and people want these superpowers. Churchill once said, the farther back you look, you can look, the farther forward you'll see. So how did we get here? AWE grew from humble beginnings seven years ago with 300 people in a room talking about concepts and ideas. And today, we're reaching nearly 4,000 attendees in this conference with real products showing real value right here on the expo floor. This is how our logo evolved from 2010. It grew and grew. This is where it is today. And this is how our T-shirt evolved. Started there, moved over there. And this is what we have this year. And these were the smart glasses we had in 2010, more like concept cyberpunk style. And look at what we have this year. 
products you can actually buy, some of them second and third revisions, and are delivering real value for corporations and company everywhere around the world. In 2014, we predicted the adoption of headsets will look like this. By 2015, one million shipments, which we pretty much hit. Then in 2016, about 10 million shipments, which were pretty much on track. And it's going to reach critical mass and then hit the mainstream somewhere in the beginning of the next decade. But most importantly, we predict a big shakeup by the end of this year. Early winners will emerge, M&A activity will rise, and investors will go completely gaga. The window of opportunity is short, 6 to 12 months. So whether you're an investor, a corporation, or a startup, this is the time to get in, or you're going to be left behind. Or as Digital Capital, Digital Capital reports, the shakeup might have already started. But it's really important to bring all these together, AR devices, VR HMDs, and wearables, because they could together create this new ecosystem and this new wave. And that's why we work hard to bring those three communities together. It's what our guiding light behind this event. And it's also reflected in the diverse program that we have at the show. Main stage right here with TED-style talks. Enterprise track to help enterprises get ready for AR. AR track with everything else not specifically for enterprise. VR from storytelling to non-gaming and gaming, wearables that runs across the entire spectrum, and a developer track packed with tutorials and new product introductions. We have amazing speakers here, so I want you to give your love for 200 amazing speakers here at the show. Give it up, guys. <laughs> and we're going to have about over 200 amazing demos of our exhibitors in the expo hall here. And I want to thank our awesome sponsors. They're really making this event possible. So put your hands together for our amazing sponsor. <laughs> There's a whole new ecosystem being built right here in front of our eyes with tremendous innovation that runs across every layer from the compute platform through hardware, its components, software tools, and all, all the way to applications for every single vertical you can think of. And you are all here to make it happen. Coming from 47 countries around the world, you in this room are the Avengers. You are leading the movement. And as the saying goes, with great, response, with great power comes... Nice. So I have one question for you. Will you use this for good? Here's our contribution. Last year, we made these five promises to you. And here's what we delivered so far. Today, we are proud to announce the new AR Glasses Buyer's Guide, a free interactive tool to help you find the best smart glasses for your specific use, because one size doesn't fit all, doesn't fit all when it comes to smart glasses. You can slice it by specs, compare side by side. And if this week you go there and you respond to the survey, you can win a Vive. Wait, a Vive? That's not smart glasses. Of course not, because we don't want to take sides or, or being favorites. So it's a VR headset. Our YouTube channel. We've published there the largest collection of videos about AR anywhere in the world, with visionary talks, best practices, tutorials, demos, interviews, and dozens of industry use cases. And with our partner, Augmented Reality for Enterprise Alliance, or AREA, who's also running the enterprise track here, they've put together an amazing collection of industri industry use cases that show real implementations that are delivering real business value today to corporations around the world. As for the industry roadmap, we partnered with IEEE, to form a group that worked diligently for the last year to define an industry roadmap. And they'll be presenting the initial findings tomorrow in a developer track. Since last year, we also founded Super Ventures in San Francisco. It's an incubator and fund 
dedicated to helping AR and VR startups go to market and get funded. We strive for a broader mission to really help connect all startups in this field with great investors. And the good news is that we're among a great group of investors focused on you guys. Finally, last year we brought AWE to China for the first time and we discovered something amazing. A Asia, or China specifically, is the largest market for AR. And it has the most active investors in AR and VR. So we partner with ARA to extend the activities of augmentedreality.org to China with the mission to create a bridge to nurture partnerships with investors, incubators, and startups in China and move things both ways. And we're also going to Europe this year, an event in October, to bring the mission there. So I want to ask you again, what about you guys? Will you use your superpowers for good? So here are some tips for how to get started right here. First step, go mobile. Download the mobile app. It has the most up-to-date schedule. You can create your own schedule. And it's a great way to connect with attendees and exhibitors. And for colleagues or fans who cannot attend in person right here, let them know that they can teleport with a bunch of robots that we have right here. And they can interact with us all, see the exhibits, uh, be part of the show. Also, use your augmented badges. They're armed with NFC chips. So when you enter a session, it is scanned, and feedback forms are automatically sent to you. So spend 10 seconds on each and show some love for your speakers. And this evening, after the Art Gala reception, which will be in the next hall at 5 p.m., uh, we'll gather back here at 6.30 to honor the best of the best in the augmented world. Our sponsors will give, up, will give out Augie trophies for eight different categories, so don't miss it. Um, and tomorrow, at the event wrap-up, three trophies will be awarded to the best in show in AR. So make sure to vote in the mobile app. There's a link to the voting. Uh, and make it count. This is our friends from Wikitude have augmented an actual Augie, so you'll be able to check it out at their booth. But before the, uh, the wrap-up tomorrow, the event will reach a boiling point. Um, the event will reach a boiling point with this historic AR versus VR debate. We're trying to answer this question of what reality are we really in? In fact, I want to ask you right now, is it the real reality? So to answer this question, we may have, you may have noticed we equipped your bags with some spinning tops so you can perform your own reality test. Oh, you didn't fall. But before you go spinning, join me in thanking the awesome team. Put your hands together for an amazing group of super fans that made this event so awesome. SVVR, We Are Wearables, Area, Reinventing Events, AWE TV guys, many, many volunteers. And above all, thank you guys for coming. Thank you.